Hello and welcome to another edition of Guinea Pigs with Greg. In this episode, we're going to talk about uh, the density of points in Himalayans and Californians and what happens to those during the warmer summer months. Uh, one of the questions I get asked quite a lot is why are the markings on my Himalayans and Californians changing colour? Well, both Californians and Himalayans, their markings are on the very extremities of their body, on their feet, their noses and their ears. And this is sensitive to temperature. In the darker, colder months, uh, the points darken. In the summer, warmer months, the lighter months, the points also lighten. This is due to a number of factors, and I've got a number of theories and things that I've tested over the years. But we'll just run through uh, why I think this happens and uh, what the effects actually look like on the caves themselves. And remember, this is just a general guide. Uh, I myself have exceptions to the rule where the points stay perfect all year round. So what happens in the warmer weather? Well, the density of the smut uh, lightens. It doesn't become so dark and uh, crisp and the contrast uh, is then affected. You also lose a loss of density on the feet. And the body colour becomes a lot clearer. So some of the, the staining on the body disappears. And like I say, this is due to a number of reasons, but we think humidity plays a, a big part. And here you can see uh, a Himalayan on the left and a Californian on the right. The Himalayan on the left is still very dense. The feet and the smut are still very crisp and clear. But as you can see the Californian on the right, the smut has uh, lightened and it's not so well defined now. The density is gone. Which, and what we say by density is, is how much of the colour you can see in contrast to the body colour. So here you can see it's not well defined uh, on the right and it's very well defined on the left. This is another Californian again going through the summer months. You can see the feet are slightly browner than they should be at this time in his life. And the smut again isn't as crisp against that gold body colour. Whereas the Himalayan on the left is, uh, this video was taken in the winter months so it looks quite dense. And just for contrast, on the left now we have the Himalayan with their summer points. And as you can see again, the smut, you can see the outline of it, but it's not dense. Whereas you look at the Californian on the right, and that smut is very dense. Uh, again, see the chocolate Californian, it doesn't matter what colour the smut is, it needs to be dense to the base and holding its good shape. As you see the Himalayan on the left, whilst you can see the outline of the shape, it's very faded and it's nowhere near as dense as the, the pig on the right. Uh, the feet also get affected. Um, this tends to happen secondary. Uh, I'm not quite sure why. Uh, but the, the smut seems to be the first one that goes, and then the feet afterwards. As you can see here, hopefully, the pig on the left has meant to have black feet, but they've started to pepper and go brown uh, with intermingled uh, lighter coloured hairs, whereas the pig on the right is still in their uh, winter points, and it's very dense and black all the way up to the hock. Um, so you can see the effects that the warm weather's having. Again, on the right, this is a close-up of the intermingled hairs as it, as it gets warmer, whereas the pig on the left has very dense points. And this happens really quickly. As the summer uh, moves in, these markings really do change colour. I say it's not always as this severe, and also the uh, coat colour can lighten. You see the pig on the left uh, has gone very clear and white, whereas the pig on the right uh, is slightly shaded. Um, that's not to say that it will get rid of all of the shading. Um, it can be just a slight lightening of uh, the pigment on the, on the coat. So why are the points changing colour? Well, they change colour with the increase in temperature, uh, which we believe uh, starts the molting of the coat. So the darker hairs molt away, leaving the lighter coloured hairs below. And this happens in the hot weather, it's particularly in high humidity. So it's very important uh, that you keep your cables cool. As you see here, the Himalayan on the left, completely affected by the summer. The one on the right hasn't been as affected as much. It's still not as dense as it should be, but it's a lot denser than, um, than, than most of my Himalayans go during the summer months. And quite literally, both of these were entered into a show uh, 
at the uh, middle of May and I was only able to take one of them because the one on the left just lost all, all of their markings. Uh, there are a few tips and tricks we can uh, use to help reduce the fading. Firstly, you can put cold or frozen water bottles into the cage. You can use a fan in the shed or, if you're lucky enough, air conditioning. Second, uh, thirdly, you can just make sure plenty of ventilation, open the windows and the doors and keep that open as long as you can. Also, clean out the cages regularly. Guinea pig muck uh, can build up a lot of heat. So a fresh, clean cage will help keep them cool. Also, if you have the uh, opportunity, put less guinea pigs in the cage, just allowing them more space within the cage. Uh, it makes it nice and airy and light uh, and stops it from heating up. Well, hopefully now you understand what's happening to your KVs, your Californians and your Himalayans, and why their points are changing during the summer months and then again in the uh, winter months. I say, if you see them lighting in the summer months, it, the whole thing will reverse again uh, during the winter months. So don't worry, they will come back into colour eventually. Um, but good luck on the show bench, and I'll see you again.